Okay, so this video is different. It's actually very different and that's because I'm extremely excited. In the very short lifetime of this channel, I've never been so anxious and excited at the same time to pay so much money for a piece of tech or a gadget as much as I was when I pre-ordered the newest Galaxy Fold. Now, I truly hope this phone is worth it, but let's go ahead and find out. This is, of course, the all-new Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2 5G. And this is the reason I didn't upgrade to the newest Galaxy Note this year, as I am accustomed to doing every year. But anyways, let's go ahead and unbox this baby here. And before we do so, please do me a huge favor and hit both the like and the subscribe button there. It's a tremendous help to the channel. I truly appreciate you for helping us here. So we are looking at a very simple and clean presentation of the box already here. You get a few name tags here and there, but that's about it. I went for the Mystic Bronze variant and you can tell that just by looking at the color of that very large letter Z on the box and also the pretty cool design that can be found inside here. The way this opens and folds back is actually a pretty nice touch. Behind those two folding doors, we can find a card from Samsung. Then of course the box containing the manual and also the SIM card ejector. One quick note here is that given that this is the retail version of this phone and not the review version, it does come with the Z Premier Concierge Service Card, which gives you access to some services exclusive to the Z Fold 2 owners. And finally, of course, we have the infamous Galaxy Z Fold 2 5G with that gigantic screen covered by some care instructions here. It's pretty much things like don't press too hard against the screen or don't use sharp objects, avoid pouring water on it and things like that. But I guess it's just their way of reminding you to be careful when handling this device. Now, personally seeing that actually reminds me of what happened to MKBHD in that very first Galaxy One unboxing video he made. But anyways, let's go ahead and take this off and turn on the device. This is actually pretty cool to see the screen turn on both the front screen and the main screen. Now we'll just go ahead and sit this to the side so that we can take a look at what else comes in the box, which spoiler alert is not much. So what we have here is the super fast 25 watt charger or wall adapter. And then we have the USB type C cable here. And that's pretty much it. Not even wired AKG headphones like they've done in the past, which is actually pretty disappointing, especially if you're dropping $2,000, such a high price tag for a phone like this one, you would kind of expect some of those goodies. But either way, in my case, I went ahead and ordered the Galaxy Buds Live that I will be unboxing in the video coming up soon. Okay, back to the phone now. And one thing I can tell you is that it looks way cooler in real life. Now let's first take a look at some of the physical features we have on the phone, starting on the left side here and keeping the phone open, we find the SIM card slot at the bottom on the left here. And at the top of the phone, we will find the first speaker and the microphone right there. Following that to the right, there is a volume rocker. And below that, there is a power button, which also serves as the fingerprint sensor. Then at the bottom, we have the USB type C port, another mic, and lastly, the second speaker. Now I went ahead and completed a quick setup here. And one thing I wanted to note also is the fact that it does come with a factory pre-installed screen protector on both the front and also the main screen. That being said, let's go ahead and take another look at the design because this is the actual beauty makeup of this device. And it is also what makes it so different from other devices, this folding system. I can confess that I've been wanting to do this since I received the phone, to just keep opening and folding while listening to that folding slash clamping shut sound. And we also get to observe that already popular flex mode in action. Now the Galaxy Fold series has had that reputation of being a fragile phone, but so far handling this phone, it's felt pretty solid 
in my hands. Now, it's still a $2,000 phone, so I'm still gonna try to be as careful as I can with it. And speaking of $2,000, this thing not only looks but feels extremely premium. And the big part of that comes from this polished metal feel and this matte finish of that mystic bronze color. You couple that with this very shiny hinge here, which by the way can be customized to a different color when ordering, and this phone just looks amazing. Let's go ahead and fly over some quick specs here, starting with the front screen. It's a very nice 6.2 inch HD Plus AMOLED display with 2260 by 816 for the res. And the refresh rate here is 60 Hertz, which in my personal opinion is fine for a screen this size. The main screen is a large 7.6 inch Infinity Flex AMOLED display with 2208 by 1768 for the res. And this time around, you get variable refresh rate here that goes up to 120 Hertz. It definitely gives you that tablet feel when using that main screen. So the phone is packed with 12 gigs of RAM. It also has 256 gigs of internal storage. Unfortunately, it has no option for you to expand that storage. And when thinking about it, 256 gigs of internal storage might be plenty for many people, but for others, that might actually fill up still pretty fast. So it would have been pretty nice to have the option to go ahead and expand that internal storage. But anyways, it's running that amazing Snapdragon 865 Plus. The phone is 5G capable, as you notice per the name there. You get a 4,500 milliamp power battery, which according to some feedback that I've gotten so far, seems to be enough for this phone, despite the screen sizes and specs, but I'm gonna get to test this myself. The phone is wireless charging capable and also reverse wireless charging capable. As far as camera goes, you just get a wealth of cameras on this phone. The first one being that front display hole punch there, which is a 10 megapixel camera. Then you have another 10 megapixel hole punch camera on the main display. Then you have kind of the main camera module set up on the back of the phone there. It looks similar to what the Note Ultra actually shows, but it's just not as thick. So it would include a 12 megapixel ultra wide angle camera, a 12 megapixel wide angle camera and a 12 megapixel telephoto camera and it offers up to 10x digital zoom. I will get to fully test the camera and also share my thoughts on that. So going back to this flex mode, it looks like it can come in handy for vlogging as you can just sit the phone this way and just start your vlog. The hinge is very solid. It holds both sides of the phone very well. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I'm still very excited and looking forward to using this phone. However, there are two main things that are kind of disappointing and the first one being the fact that you get pretty much zero goodies specifically accessories with it so no headphones no extra case you literally just get the basics the second one is the fact that the external storage is not expandable via micro sd card again 256 gigs of internal storage is enough for the average user but the problem here is that this phone is so exclusive that i don't see too many average users spending $2,000 for such a phone. It's really just for the fanatics. And in that case, I would have really expected to have that external storage to kind of just go all out, for Samsung to go all out and offer everything at the top level. But either way, I'm still impressed by the phone and I'm very much looking forward to using it. So overall, my impressions are still very positive. It is just an improved design. It looks beautiful in real life. I'm happy with the specs so far, and I'm just anxious to see how I can make this fit my type of usage and hopefully make it my main device. I'm gonna go ahead and fully test this phone and thoroughly try as many of the features as I possibly can, and I'm gonna drop a full review video on this, so look out for that. I truly appreciate you sticking with me up until the end of this video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, of course. I'm gonna catch you in the comment section, and I'm also gonna catch you in the next video. And up until then, stay safe out there.